Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my glossy box unboxing. So a little disclaimer, if I sound a little bit rough, it's because I'm feeling a little bit rough. Um, I've got a very horsey throat. Last night was my one of my best friend's 21st birthday party, so I'm a little bit hoarse. Um, so just mind my sore throat. But this is April's box, so I'm very excited to know what's inside. As always, I have no idea, I haven't looked at any teasers or anything, so my reactions that you guys will see will be the first time I see the product. So I kind of talk through what the products are about, and also what I think about the products. So if you want to know what's in this month's glossy box, then just keep watching. As always, this is the box that gets delivered in, so I'll just open that up. This is the bit I always struggle with. <sighs> oh. Ta -da! So now we've opened the box, let's dive inside and then let's open it up. I don't know how everyone can make this look so nice. For me, I'm like, eh. Oh, right. There we go. So, oh. Very very fragrant first off. So here is the card with all the information about each product So as always I'm not going to look at it, but I will read up on the products as we get into them We'll go with this one to start with Okay, so it's a big product. So this is the Deli Wash Hair Care the Cleansing Conditioner Co-Wash by Elgon don't know how you pronounce that, I think that must be the brand. It says, get ready to revolutionise your morning showers. Co-washers combine the cleansing action of a shampoo with the hydration of a conditioner in one quick to use product. Co-washing suits all hair types, but for those with an afro or corkscrew, it will find it enhances their curls, leaving them free from frizz. Use as you would a normal shampoo, though expect less lather. So this retails for £14.50, but um, this isn't the full size product. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't love getting hair products in um, the glossy boxes, because I really enjoy my current hair routine. If you'd like a hair regime video, then just let me know in the comments below. Either just comment it, or just leave me one of these emojis, and I will get a hair regime organized for you. So I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I will be using this. I think this sort of sounds like a really good product, especially as it said, if you've got afro hair or caught screw curl hair so I might give it to someone else to try just because I really enjoy my current hair routine it works for my hair and I don't really want to mess around with what I know works for me so cool product but just not for me oh it feels like a hand gel oh it is a hand gel so this is the Merci Handy Lollipop and it's just a little hand sanitizer so let's give it a try shall we Ooh. oh I can't smell it and oh my goodness that smells amazing. Once you get past the first like kind of alcoholy smell, it does smell so good. It's sort of weirdly reminding me of a mixture of like Chloe perfume slash Dior Addicts 2 perfume, but it smells so so good. Maybe actually black opium. That's sort of what it smells like. On a daily commute, antibacterial gel is a must-have, as well as being bacteria busting. This pocket size bottle of hand sanitizer leaves hands soft thanks to tiny pearls which burst on application to hydrate hands. It's like a pinky solution you can probably see in the close up um, with like these little blue beads in it which is pretty cool. Plus it smells great. Squeeze, 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 squeeze a small amount of gel onto your hands then rub together for 30 seconds um, and this retails for 2 90 and it is full size. So, very practical, very handy little product. Let's dive back in. Oh, I've just got hand sanitizer everywhere. Let's go with this one. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is the Rodial, Rodial, Rodial Glamo Lash Mascara XXL. And then I presume this is just in a black. Now, I've actually heard quite a few things about Rodial. Do they do a really good highlight or liquid lipstick or something? I can't remember what they do, but I know I've... The brand is definitely familiar to me. And this is quite cool because I've never received like a mascara in a glossy box before. So I'm quite excited to see what this is like. I'm just currently trying to get into the plastic. Oh, I've literally just buggered up my nail doing that. All right, let's try again. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so I presume this is a mini size because it's tiny. Ooh. Yeah, I really, really like this wand actually. It comes with it. It's sort of reminding me of... I mean, it's sort of reminding me of my Maybelline Lash Sensational. Um, so yeah, I think I'll be a big fan of this mascara. Obviously it's like, it's basically a pitch black mascara, which is really good because I don't particularly like coloured mascaras. So yeah, I think I'll get quite a lot, lot of use out of that. So I'm looking forward 
to trying it. And if it's got claims that it says XXL, I'm expecting big, voluminous lashes from this. So let's have a read. When it comes to our lashes, we don't want to hold back, which is why we love this mascara. If you want extreme everything, and who doesn't, then this is the mascara for you. The long wear formula is jet black and leaves your lashes super sized but soft. Brush directly through top and bottom lashes, wiggling the one from root to tip, then repeat for even more extreme volume. And this mascara retails for £24 full sized. Obviously this isn't full sized, but £24 is a lot of money for mascara. Um, if you're a really oldie on my channel, you'll know I used to use the um, Lancome Grandios, and I think that was around £24. And that mascara is incredible, but it's just so overpriced, and I think you can get like similar um, effects with your mascara when they're high street. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying this because for that amount of money it really should do a fantastic job. So I will let you know. Right, next one. Let's go with this one. Woo! Okay, okay. So this is the Model Co. Oh, contour stick. Okay, interesting. I The reason I looked at it and kind of pulled the face was because it reminded me of the Clinique um, chubby lipsticks which I'm not the biggest fan of I, they don't really work for me they kind of they say they're a lipstick but they're sort of like a gloss but they're sort of like a balm I'm just not the biggest fan of them and to me that looks kind of I don't know if you can see but it's kind of got a real orangey undertone it looks almost too warm for a contour but that is buttery smooth wow I think it'd be a really good bronzer and it blends out wow that blends out so easily but yeah. That's what just happened. I just knocked water all into my shoes. But anyway, I might try it as like an under foundation bronzer, um, just to warm up my skin a little bit, or on those like no makeup days, just to warm up my skin. But I feel like when I use these sort of products over foundation, it just moves my makeup around too much. This chunky contour crayon makes defining cheekbones both easy and precise, gliding over bare skin or foundation. Draw an angled line along the hollow area directly below the cheekbones, then blend for, then blend for soft definition. You can use it to define the nose and jawline too. It looks great as an eyeshadow or lip colour, particularly on those with darker skin tones. I don't know if I'd use it for... Um, like an eyeshadow colour, unless I was using this as like the base, the primer, and then putting eyeshadow on top. Because I feel like it's so creamy, it would just like move around the whole day. But this retails for £17 full size, but this is only a sample size. And then on to our last product. Which is here. Ooh, this looks cool. This is the Sport FX Blonde Brow Pencil. Okay. So when you sign up for a glossy box, you sort of got to say what colour your hair is, um, just so they like tailor the box to meet your needs. Um, and obviously, I said mine was like, like dark blonde, like light brown, um, because I've got like dark roots, but then my balayage is kind of quite blonde. But a blonde brow pencil is probably going to be too light for me. But let's have a look. So it looks quite a lot like my, the Anastasia Brow Definer slash the um, Sleek. Oh, I forgot what it's called. Brow Stylist, I think it's called. Let's have a look at the colour. Okay, so the colour actually looks quite nice. I think that might actually work with my brows. It's got quite a lot of ashiness, which is good because my hair has quite a lot of ashiness. I know it looks red on camera, but I get ashy tones put through it. So I think that could be really nice. And obviously when you build it up, it gets quite dark. When swatching, I notice it is quite crumbly. I don't know if I'm just pressing a bit hard or if it's kind of just naturally quite a crumbly product, but I'm interested to see how that works on my brows. Sport Effects has been specifically created to offer multi-use products that make a quick turnarounds at the gym a reality. This double-ended pen holds a retractable brow pencil, which is designed to always keep its shape, while the water-resistant formula means brow look, brows look defined all day. And this is £7.99, and this is full size. So that's quite interesting, because a lot of you all know I'm massively, massively into gym at the moment, and I'm I'm always looking at like really easy makeup just to do just so I feel a bit better when going to the gym um, and so that's really interesting that there's now a brand created like specifically for those like sporty girls and guys that want to just put a bit of makeup on and then run out the door so I'm definitely gonna look into this brand um, and test out the product to see what I think 
Um, but as I said, yeah, the colour might be a little bit light, but I'm more than willing to try it. And there we go, guys. That is everything I received in this month's Glossy Box. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up. And also click my face to subscribe. I love you guys lots, and I will see you very soon. Bye!